From its settlement in the 9th century to the 1960s, the turf house was the prevailing architectural style in Iceland. It wasn't for lack of ingenuity, it was the best option because Iceland is devoid of decent building materials. The first settlers were able to use birch, which is only strong enough for basic framing and decorative elements. But a mini ice age wiped out most of the birch forests, and the geographic isolation made importing lumber far too expensive, so some of the houses became tunnel networks. Turf houses were constructed by first stacking flat stones for the foundation, then creating frames using birch or driftwood, and finally covering the whole thing with multiple layers of turf up to one meter thick. The front entryway would usually be made of wood. Turf houses provided fantastic insulation from the harsh climate, but they were damp, smelly, and dark, and they required constant maintenance because of all the organic materials. So they were essentially disposable buildings, and people would often abandon a turf house to build a new one somewhere else. It's for this reason that Iceland doesn't have a long architectural heritage. Industrialization and infrastructure only picked up in the last century, and some of the older living citizens grew up in turf houses. The turf house you see here is Hofskoka Church in Orefi and was the last church to be built in this style.